In this video, we're going to look at a website that's really useful for front end development, and it's called caniuse.com. Now, obviously, CSS, uh, HTML5, and things like that, JavaScript APIs are changing uh, rapidly on the front end of development. It's quite hard to keep up with how you can support different browsers. And can I use sort of speaks for itself in the sense that if you want to know if you can use something and it be supported fairly widely, you can head over to this site, type in the CSS selector or the uh, HTML5 feature, I guess, that you're looking for. And then you can check and see if you need vendor prefixes um, or anything else. Uh, any issues with these, things like that. So for example, let's take a look at something that has been supported quite well or very well in browsers for quite a while, and that's say border radius. So border radius will obviously just round out the corners of an element uh, with the radius of your choice. So at the moment, this gives you a really good view of uh, how you can use this ac across different browsers. You'll probably already guess that red means not supported. So in IE8, this feature isn't supported. But from IE9 up to 11, uh, as well as Firefox, Chrome, Safari Opera, uh, iOS and Safari, and uh, Android browser and Chrome for Android, all are supported. Opera Mini isn't supported. Now, with a feature like Border Radius, it doesn't really matter if it isn't supported, unless you're um, really dependent on the fact that you have to have uh, rounded corners of an element, which is probably highly unlikely. Um, then uh, if something isn't supported in, say, IEA, it doesn't matter. It will just fall back to uh, sharp corners. So uh, in this example, we don't see the requirement for any vendor prefixes because there aren't uh, requirements here. If we were to look at a um, property that did require vendor prefixes, so for example, transform, then you can see here that we have little yellow uh, boxes here to tell us that it's supported with a particular prefix. If you're not sure what a vendor prefix is, it's basically um, a browser's way of implementing a feature in their own way until it's fully standardized. So at the moment, uh, you can see that um, if we have a look here, across these, these browsers, we've got a, uh, in Safari, up till Safari 8, it's supported with a WebKit prefix because that's the CSS rendering engine. Um, with, uh, let's say, for example, um, Microsoft in IE9, this was supported with the uh, MS prefix. So really, it's up to you to decide. If you're supporting back to IE9, which is probably a good idea, um, you might want to continue to use the MS prefix until, say, you know, people drop off support for IE9 or, or stop using IE9. And the same with Chrome as well. If for some reason someone doesn't have auto-update and they're not on a, a higher version of Chrome, then um, the prefix will still be supported back here. And with Safari, obviously up to the current version, uh, we're still looking at uh, the requirement to have the WebKit prefix. And by the way, this row along here, which has a darker background, is the current version of brow uh, browser versions. So again, this isn't uh, supported in Opera Mini. So really, it's about judging if you, you know, really need features. And that's the whole point of the website, can I use? Now, we've also got things, uh, well, this gives us a lot more information here. Um, this sort of related uh, things to transform. So 3D transforms, SVG effects as well. Um, but we also get this, these little tabs like known issues as well. So you can look through these and decide uh, whether the, these issues are going to be a problem for you. And we've also got resources as well, which is really useful. So this will just go through so things like the W3 specification, which is really useful to get to know and understand. Um, but also other uh, sites as well, MDN as well, which is a really good resource. So... There's a lot on here, really. So if you are a front end developer, or if you're getting into front end development and you do want to use cutting edge uh, technology, go ahead and this website should always be your first port of call to see if you can use things. So that's a brief introduction to caniuse.com. We're not affiliated with Can I Use, it's just a really good resource. And there are other um, features of this website that make things really um, interesting as well, like different um, 
stats between countries. Um, there's all sorts of uh, ways you can present this data. So that's pretty much it for can I use. Um, check it out if you haven't already and see what you think. And if you are a front-end developer, or like I said, if you're getting into front-end development, you will find this useful.